And today's menu, we have my delicious country style pork ribs tacos done my way with onions, mushrooms, bell peppers, and a side of delicious guacamole. So everyone, I hope you enjoy my delicious country style pork tacos done my way. First, I have prepped a clean cutting board with my freshly clean rinsed country style ribs. Next, we are going to be seasoning our meat. I am going to use one tablespoon of garlic powder. I'm going to take my fingers and just, you know, gently sprinkle the garlic powder. And we have a little bit of seasoning salt. We are going to sprinkle over. Now, you want to use the same formation on both sides of your meat. So next, I am going to use some garlic chip seasonings. Okay, this is just a grill type of seasoning that I'm using to place over my delicious country style ribs. Okay. This also brings more flavor. I got to have season on my meat. So next we are going to place them in a glass baking dish and we are going to let them bake for 40 to 60 minutes. And that's just to make sure your meat is really tender. So less time, put this on the timer and place inside of the oven. And for extra flavor, I'm going to add just a little bit of my seasoned olive oil just for the make the broth and the juice coming from uh, our delicious country style pork ribs. Okay, place them in the oven. Next, we are going to make some guacamole. Now, I'm going to also slice my one lime and you want to squeeze at least half of that lime if you don't get enough of lime juice you make sure you use the other half okay so I am going to place that aside and I am going to get busy with my guacamole okay I'm going to show you how to cut properly a guacamole okay this is how you slice it and you keep rolling around make sure you don't cut yourself now I don't know if anybody uh, have uh, ever experienced of actually making guacamole. So if you haven't, this is a way to learn how to do so. Simple, easy. Just make sure you're very careful. Okay, I have a glass bowl, medium size, and I am going to actually take a tablespoon and scoop out my soft guacamole so when you go into the store you don't get the hard ones if you want to make it for the actual date of um, making guacamole so otherwise leave them set out so that they can become room temperature and they will turn for you so that they'll be ready for you to actually make your fresh guacamole Okay, next, now that we got it all mashed up like mashed potatoes, and we are going to start to add our ingredients into our guacamole. Now, this is homemade. You can follow my recipe if you like. That was three guacamoles and one fresh squeezed lime, okay? Now, we have one third cup of uh, yellow sweet onions and uh, one fourth cup of green chived onions. And we also have one third cup of jalapeno peppers, okay? Now, you can sprinkle as you go. You don't have to put all of the jalapeno peppers in there in the green onions. It's all based on your taste. That's also one fourth cup of chopped fresh tomatoes and maybe two teaspoons of parsley flakes. But like I said, use your judgment and the guacamole seasoning that you can find in a pack, okay? So you can make this and just, you know, stir it all up 
and make sure that it's smooth and make sure that you taste it to your taste and continue to season. If you like more uh, jalapeno peppers in there, you can do so. I just added in mine. If you want more onions, you could add more. You know, some people don't even put onions in there. So the choice is actually yours. Next, I am going to place the guacamole into a small dish, cover it, and set it in the fridge and let it chill until it is time to pull out, okay, and serve. So, um, I'm going to check on the oven to make sure our country style pork ribs are done. I have prepped my cast iron skillet to a low, medium, high. I'm placing my oven country style pork ribs into my cast iron skillet. Now, the reason why we're doing this is just to give it a little bit of brownness on the side before we begin to actually slice our um, country pork style ribs for our tacos. So, I'm telling you, this is a delicious recipe. Young ladies and gentlemen, if you want to try this recipe, it is so delicious, okay? Make sure you watch your temp far as uh, when you're preparing because you don't want to burn your country style pork ribs. So the next thing we are going to do is add our delicious fresh uh, one four cup of sweet yellow onions. I'm adding just a little bit more of my delicious seasoned olive oil and I'm going to add one cup of sliced bella mushrooms. Now, mushrooms are so important with these pork tacos, so don't forget to also add that pork uh, flavor broth to this cast iron skillet from uh, the juices that were left in your baking dish, which is extra flavor, flavor, flavor. You can't ask for much more. So, we are going to continue to saute these mushrooms and onions until they are just a little bit done for about good six to seven minutes. Shouldn't take that much. And next, I am going to place it from the skillet and back onto the clean cutting board. And I am going to actually slice my country pork ribs into nice size chunks so that we can place them inside of our choice of taco shells. Now I am going to saute the mushrooms and the bell peppers and the onions all in one skillet so that we can get this done. Okay it's going to take about a good six to seven minutes and don't forget to add some ground black pepper. Okay and you can use a couple of dashes of uh, fresh ground pepper and next we are going to add some delicious fresh sea salt as well okay and this also brings the flavor into your uh, sauteed vegetables when you uh, place and prepare them over on top of your country uh, style pork ribs okay so next I'm going to add just a little bit of olive oil into my um, cast iron skillet now this is for my actual soft taco shells okay that's just to heat it up and make them soft because you don't want them to get hard you can either steam them but i choose to just you know flip flop and let them just get a little soft on both sides before i actually start to prepare each fresh soft taco and that is that country pork style rib tacos we are having tonight which is very delicious and not only that this is good with you know some white wine or a margarita you know if you are uh, in the mood this is a Saturday night dish I love me some guacamole and you can also do some chips on the side okay with some type of um, a salsa so hey Let's get busy with this. This is going to be very delicious. You see the beautiful colors in my 
bell peppers. Now I am so proud of sauteing these bell peppers just right with those onions and mushrooms. Now I am going to place this in the platter and look how delicious that looks. Mm. And also check out the beautiful colors with the bell peppers. See, I love me some sauteing bell peppers. Next, we are going to add my homemade guacamole using one tablespoon scoop at a time on top of our delicious country style pork rib tacos, okay? Now, you know I love guacamole, so I'm gonna get a little heavy handed on that. And that's gonna be so delicious when I get done. So we all know what time it is. It's the taste time. I gotta taste this delicious rib taco. Mmm, 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 mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Oh my god, it's okay. I'm telling y'all, you have got to try this. Mm. I'm not showing my face because I'm just being greedy right now. Just one more bite, and I swear I'm done. So, you guys, don't forget to join me at Dining with Bessica on my YouTube channel. Mm -hmm. Also, don't forget to subscribe, comment, like, and share. Share with everyone this delicious recipe. We got to support one another. And don't forget to follow me at DiningWithBessica.com, my Twitter, my Instagram, and my Facebook account. Hey, I love you guys. Please stay safe. Love is love. Until next time, goodbye. Smooches.